Well, good evening. I'm Mackenzie Henderson. So police arrested one person in connection to a shooting at a house party in Macomb yesterday that left one dead and 10 hurt. We do not know the name yet, but we do know the charge, armed violence. And WGEM's Dylan Smith is back from the scene in the 500 block of North Johnson Street. And Dylan, this happened very close to Western Illinois University, as we can see on this map. And how are students dealing with this? Well, Mackenzie, the students I spoke with say they're concerned more than anything about crime near campus becoming what feels like a yearly occurrence. And there were not only college students, but also high school students at the party. Both say they're shocked to see this happen again. I said the, the Macomb Police Department is investigating the report of a firearm discharge off campus. Seek shelter immediately. WIU sophomore Chaz Banks is one of the thousands of students who received that same emergency alert in the early morning hours of Saturday. I got texts from a bunch of people, a few of my friends, and then calls asking me, like, am I okay, am I okay? And I was trying to figure out, I'm like, what? I'm like, of course I'm okay. I didn't really do anything. I don't feel sick or anything. So I'm like, why are they asking? And to his surprise, he found out one person had died. Ten others had been injured, six of them WIU students. Police say it happened in the 500 block of North Johnson during a house party around 2 a.m. A fight broke out and shots were fired. They arrested someone Sunday but haven't released a name. Only the charge, armed violence, saying they don't want to compromise the investigation. We've really just been saying like how grateful we are that we, are, um, that we didn't go to the party and that we're all still alive. But some of Banks' friends can't say the same. Friends who were in the house at the time the shots were fired. They're a little bit like traumatized by what happened with them and I... Uh, of course, I checked up on all of them. For Banks, this is the second time in his college career a shooting has taken place near campus. It's just something you wouldn't expect. Like, it was just kind of random, it felt like. For freshman Yoani Espinosa, her first. To me, it feels like a pretty safe campus. Everybody's really friendly. So it was just shocking and really sad. Espinosa and Banks say they still feel safe at WIU. They also agree that gun violence has no place at or around WIU. If people, like, get into it, they don't use their fists anymore. They don't talk about it first. They just like immediately pull out a gun or some kind of weapon. And McKenzie, as I said, there were high school students there. Macomb School District Superintendent Patrick Toomey sent an email to parents today. Now it reads in part, our hearts and prayers go out to all of the victims and their families. And at the same time, we are grateful none of our students were seriously injured. And as always, student and staff safety is our top priority, and we will continue to closely monitor this situation. Now, out of abundance of caution, we will plan on having additional police presence at the schools on Monday. And you can see the statement from WIU President Gui you Huang put out yesterday on WGEM.com. In the newsroom, Dylan Smith, WGEM News. All right, thank you so much, Dylan. And here's more information. So police say it is likely video or photos before or during the, sh during the shooting are out there. So you can email that to citizenconcerns at macombpolice.com. We'll have that on our website as well. And if you have any other information, call Crime Stoppers in Macomb at 309-836-3222. And they all say the calls will remain anonymous.